Hi everybody, I am Asadir Pan. This time I will be using River Modular in order to simulate a network between a FTP client and a server and I will be generating some traffic and I will be logging the data and showing you the graph of that. So for that you have to go to File, New, Project, OK, name your project as FTP Client by Server and IP version 32 Yes, okay. Uh, Invalid project name, file server, version. maybe it's uh, okay. I think it's client underscore server. Maybe it's that. Too. Okay. Create empty scenario. Next. Uh, wall, yes. Or, yes. Keep it as it is. Next. Finish. That's it. Really cool map. Here is Pakistan. Uh, let's uh, build a network on the C. I, I would love to use a network on C. So <coughs> basically it's a PPP base so I will deploy the models of PPP from here. I will need a PPP server, uh, a PPP workstation. So I double click it. You can see this uh, green uh, block. Uh, let me place it here Antarctica and let me select another one Ripple D server and place it somewhere here okay on this C and I need a IP32 version cloud and I place it on this C here now I will need uh, some link models I will be using DS3 double click it click here one click here one click here it's connected now one click here and one click here it's connected once again so <coughs> this is not all that we need we need a profile config double click it and place it somewhere here here on the C uh, this is a model totally on C that's why I'm doing like this and application and place it again like this that's it these are all the things that we need so buckle up what we have to do is to first of all rename this node oh sorry oh, oh what I did Let's take a look. So, sorry, I just missed it. I'm in everything. So, but uh, oops, deleted. And okay, now we need to edit some properties. Go to edit attributes. I name it as uh, change the name to client. Client and press OK. And change its name to as server. So instead of node, I'm gonna name it uh, server. Press OK. OK. Uh, let me name it IPv2 with IP version. Then we'll get it. IPv32. Sorry, not 31 cloud. OK, that's it. And where is my application config? So, I made a little mistake only. Let me download it again from here. So here it is. Close it. Okay. Uh, let's rename it as our profile. Let me name it FTP profile. Okay. That's it. And let me edit this name as. <coughs> application that's it now we need to <coughs> set some sort of application in this if I'm using HTTP I would have to set this application setting as an HTTP server and as, as an HTTP application or if I'm using uh, path 3 if I'm using any other uh, SMTP for uh, email forwarding not email forwarding actually email sending so as I'm just concerned here for FTP file transfer protocol uh, what I have to do is to go to the applications definition uh, because I'm using one application I will just select one row if I'm using multiple applications let's suppose I'm using three applications let's suppose FTP uh, HTTP SMTP so I have to select the number of rows as three but I, as I'm using just one so I have to select number of rows as one enter application name so Okay, intra application name. You have to type uh, 
FG, FGP. Sorry, it's not FTP, it's FTP. In the description, uh, you have to select FTP. It's off, so select that and select high load. Because I'm doing that for high load. And click OK. That's it. Now go to FTP profile. Edit attributes. I named it as FTP profile, so you can see here that's already available. Now profile configuration. As I mean, I just selected one application in FTP application. I have to select number of process one once again. And in the enter profile name, I will enter as FTP profile. You can name it anything you want. And in the applications, we have to select the number of rows as one. And in the application name, you will most probably find the name of the application that you define in FTP application. So I named as an FTP. So you will find here the name of the application that you selected or defined in your FTP application bar. FTP application this thing that I'm talking about so I will select FTP if it's not coming here it means you made some mistake in the FTP application bar so click OK that's it now I have to define some sort of way for the client to reach the server using the application as FTP so right click on the client go to edit attributes and the attributes you have to go to applications now there are several options for selecting an application there is it is destination preferred uh, it's supported profiles preferred it's supported services so if i am concerned with the client i am basically supposed to select an application that is destination preferred so for that i will click on this part number of rows as i'm just using ftp so i have to select once again one and in all applications uh, I'm go not gonna select all but I'm going to select the application that I created which is FTP symbolic name leave everything as it is and uh, click OK that's it uh, in the server you have to click click attributes once again now here I go to application once again but this time as this is a server I'm not concerned about the destination but I am concerned about the services that my server is providing so here we click here in the none I will select edit in the edit I will select ok I need just one application on my server I will click none and here FTP comes once again here that's it ok now it's done now what's the next thing I go to the protocols and I have to deploy the applications that I created so deploy define applications here you will find source ok here you will select deploy the application these are basically the clients and server this is the client and this is the server that I created and here are the applications that I generated so I will click on client and from here I will click on the client is the source of creating the traffic so here I will click this <coughs> so here it has been deployed and uh, wait a second there is a bell outside so I come in a one or two a second okay so I am again um, here I have to select this and uh, for the server as a server application I have to click this button once again and you have to click the consistency to check if there are radiators okay consistency check part it means everything is working perfectly fine okay and I think I had to apply the apply them as well I mistakenly forgot that let me see if it's working or not okay apply okay consistency check pass now okay before doing the simulation you have to go to choose individual data statistics go to node statistics and as I'm doing for the server I have to find server FTP and I have to click and I just clicked on the main side and here are uh, here is traffic sent by traffic PC load traffic everything okay that's it now I have to click configure run discrete time simulation and here I've selected 30 seconds, duration 30 seconds, and I've clicked apply, apply, okay, run, that's it. Uh, it's running, oh, yes, results have been calculated, and I need to go, I'll put it in the results browser. Now, if I click here, everything is free bar here for 30 seconds. Okay, now I compare it with the uh, 30 minutes. So for that I need to go to configure that instead of this I need to go to minutes apply run that's it okay it's done results browser it's too cold here results browser 
Oh, great. Load, traffic, task, everything. I don't know, I don't feel any need to document it. I will just borrow it from someone because I don't want to waste my time. Uh, copy pasting this stuff now. That's it. This is all. These are the results. I don't know what they mean, but these are the results. So, close them. That's it. Thank you very much. Subscribe for more videos. And yes, click on ads as well.